Good afternoon. Today is Wednesday, August the 7th. And this is Dorothy Simon over at Cable Channel 3. I'm sitting in for Jim Lakey. And you can also catch us on the web at sandylandcenter.org. And better than that, come by and visit us on the south side of the square. There's always fresh coffee and some goodies for you. So join us live if you do have the time or make the time to come and see what we do over here. Um, the weather has been very windy and rain and drought busting rain, we should say, and that's a blessing. And we have been having the heavy storms and thunderstorms are likely for all of Kansas to the far east to the Ohio Valley every day through Friday. And uh, this widespread rainfall, uh, one to three inches in some places, but with other places getting as many as four to six inches. And that's all in the forecast for Bagasi, Kansas to the east for the next several days. These severe thunderstorms are producing strong winds, gusts, uh, especially in the south part of Kansas. And a cold front will bring in dry weather in the upper Midwest. However, these showers and thunderstorms will return with another cold front on Thursday. And that will make it warmer and muggier in the 80s and lower 90s uh, forecasted for southern Nebraska and Kansas. But right now in the square, it is uh, mostly cloudy, temperatures right at 78 degrees with the winds east northeast at 12 miles an hour and possibly gust into 17 miles per hour with a 74% humidity. For the next six hours though, it will be mostly cloudy and, and windy. Temperatures will remain steady or slow, slowly rising really to um, 81 degrees for the high this afternoon. The winds easterly to 20 to 25 miles per hour and a high of 80, 80s, low 80s. Tonight we should see the temperatures falling to 60, 66 degrees and it also has an 80% chance of rain. We get some more rain with, uh, that will bring the humidity, 89% humidity and scattered thunderstorms. We can expect that this evening. Tomorrow, um, pretty much the same, some scattered thunderstorms with a high um, 78 degrees Fahrenheit and a 60% chance of rain and humidity still remain high at 85%. And then in the night time, we should get, also have some scattered thunderstorms. And Friday, Still that same pattern remains, high of 79, low of 59, 20% chance of rain, and the winds north easterly at 8 miles per hour. So we, we are being we blessed with some lots of rain to fill in for the water drought that we have been having. In our community, uh, we have uh, tomorrow we want to wish Kim and Brenda Straub a happy anniversary. So if you see that good couple um, anywhere in the neighborhood, um, do wish them a happy anniversary. Anniversary. And tomorrow we want to wish our friend Ron Moore a happy birthday and Louise Harter. So wish them a happy birthday, Ron Moore and Louise Harter. The young people um, are getting ready for school, or probably they don't want to hear that, um, but it's beginning to sound like the summer is getting over as the school enrollment in District USD 351 is today. It starts at 12 to 3 p.m. and in USD 350, it's Thursday uh, from noon until 7 p.m. 
and um, please remember that the children will need proof of identity, the birth certificates, the social security numbers, you immunization records, and for the older ones, the seniors and the juniors, they, if they're going to be playing ball, they will also need um, the doctor's report uh, from, from their physical. So uh, please bring that along with you for the enrollment. And do call over the school if you need more information for your particular need. Um, other things that's been happening in our community, the Golden Belt Foundation has awarded um, its July grants for Stafford County, and they have given the Stafford County Historical Society a grant for supplies to process the glass plate negatives for the um, 500 Grace Studio that, that is being restored in our community here. If you need more information on how this process goes, and if you have a project that you would like to be included, uh, please call Bob Muirhead at 785-650-250 or Kay Onru at 785-625-1474. That's a great work that they do, um, the Community Foundation, and um, they support lots of different projects. So if you or your organization needs some help over there, make sure you can use that service. And every Thursday for the month of August, the, the St. John Farm and Art Market has begun. They began last um, Thursday, and they will do so tomorrow again. Uh, so bring your produce and your crafts for sale. And if you need information on how to get a booth, please call Amy Collins. Call Amy at 620-549-3502 for more information on getting how, what to do to just to get the booth and setting it up. And I know I've heard the, the music and the dancing for the Saturday hot summer uh, nights that's been going on in the square. And the last one is coming up on s August the 10th the hot summer nights. It's music, it's free hot dogs, hamburgers, it's fun, it's games, it's basketball games, it's dancing, it's refreshments and giveaways. It's just a, a good healthy way to spend a hot summer night. So come on out on August the 10th for um, the hot summer night in the, in the city square. And we just want to invite you today for lunch over at the Maxwell Center. Um, on our menu for today, we have Salisbury steak with gravy, steamed broccoli, sliced tomatoes, probably from somebody's garden, which is very good this time of the year, green pepper salad, cream pudding, and roll and coffee. And tomorrow there should be roast turkey, agar corn, potatoes, seasoned green beans, ranch lettuce salad, and apple pie cake, and tea and coffee. And on Friday, quick Swiss steak, cream potatoes, seasoned Scandinavian vegetable mix, cottage cheese vegetable salad, a berry cobbler, and tea and coffee. And over at our Sunflower Center, today we're serving up oven fried chicken, mashed potatoes with gravy, peas, tossed salad, banana delight, roast beef. And tomorrow we'll serve some red potatoes with those roast beef, uh, green beans, and tomato salad, and a key lime pie, it looks like. And on Friday, steak teriyaki, rice, mixed vegetables, cranberry salad, and dessert. So please don't forget to visit either of the two centers and there's always a nutritious meal available for you. And if you are shut and 
shut in and can't get out, please call the center. There are people there who have offered to bring the meal um, over to you. Don't forget that. We don't want to leave anyone out. <laughs> and our thought for today, somebody figured it out. We have 35 million laws to enforce 10 commandments. 35 million laws to enforce 10 commandments. Perhaps it would be, it would be better if we just do unto others as though we were the others. Then we would need all those laws. Thank you.